none whatsoever because it's natural to the body. So all it does is speed up the valence electrons, which in turn enhances the function of the mitochondria cell to make more ATP. So we run at a much higher voltage on the cell wall, which draws in oxygen and much more readily. But it also forces out toxic ions such as lead and mercury and all these organic toxins because they're all positive ions. So once the inside of the cell becomes so positive, it forces these other positive ions out and the outside becomes more negative. So they're drawn out. So this is a great detoxifier of the body. And we've had independent studies done showing that we dramatically increase ex the excretion in the urine of lead and mercury and nickel and arsenic and all of these toxic ions. And this was done independently. They go out through the kidneys and they, uh, we help them out by binding them, making them into sulfates, which are more readily, readily excreted by the kidney than just a straight ion because the body tries to conserve metal ions because they need some, like copper and zinc and things like that. So, uh, but if you give a person a chlorella or DMSA, uh, you can actually bind those uh, ions so that they're more easily excreted. The magnetic pad all by itself actually excretes a lot and most 85 percent of the people don't need to take a, an extra thing like chlorella or uh, dmsa to help the excretion these are people that are really toxic and they're usually people with fibromyalgia chronic fatigue parkinson's ms things like that where the brain is really loaded up with a lot of toxic metals through several ways. First of all, because all the chemistry is working better, remember, because of the formula that says you enhance electron transfer, that means that your metabolism is at a higher level. So you're burning up more calories to start off with. But it also enhances the function of the thyroid. So you're putting out more thyroxin. So you're burning up more. And your brain is actually working better because it's not full of toxic metals. And so your brain is actually has a higher metabolic rate. And your brain uses up a lot of calories every day, about a third of them. And so you're burning up a lot more there because your brain's working better. So these are two ways. But you remember, uh, we talked about the mice that ate huge amounts of food to get the energy from the food because they felt a lack of energy. Well, if you don't feel a lack of energy because you're, you're running at a higher voltage, and then we'll talk about that next. That's another experiment we did. Your brain is running at a much higher voltage so that you actually uh, have more vitality. Then you don't need to have the desire to keep eating more and more food to get vitality. So there's several ways in which this uh, makes a difference. We did a study on that. We found 91% of the people said they were sleeping better. Now, uh, why were they sleeping better? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, we're taking the mercury out of their brain and the lead out of their brain, which are both toxins, which are irritating the brain and causing poor sleep. Secondly, we're finding that the, we did a credit large study, 88 people, we found consistently they ran with a much higher oxygen saturation in their blood. And uh, when the brain is getting more oxygen, it's more at rest, it's not straining as much, and so they sleep deeper, and it reduces snoring because there's, you're not gasping for air because you're getting enough oxygen in your blood already. There's uh, other reasons why it helps with the sleep also, because if you're running all day on adrenaline because your brain isn't putting out enough electricity to the body, to resonate the, and the cells and everything because your, uh, your vitality is down. Uh, you still have an overload of adrenaline coming uh, when you're trying to go to sleep. It's very difficult to go to sleep when you're all uh, hype on adrenaline. So there's several reasons why it helps with the sleep.
Okay, the first uh, study that we really did, a major study, was right here in Toronto, matter of fact, Dr. Uh, Lewis, and he was treating, uh, had a fibromyalgia practice, he was treating a lot of fibromyalgia patients, and so he, he heard my lecture and he said, well, I wonder what this will do for fibromyalgia, and uh, so we did a double-blind study with him, and he found that they he had two groups. One, they all received uh, psychiatric treatment, they all received massage, they all received uh, things for pain and what have you. The ones that were on the magnetic pad had two and a half times less pain and better quality of life than the ones that were just had the normal types of treatment at the, that was given at that time. So that was the first study. The second study was done at the University of Virginia, and they compared the Nikon pad, uh, which is the bipolar pad, uh, with the, the magnetical pad. And that was a large study, cost about a million and a half dollars. And uh, this is uh, very interesting results. The, uh, the Nikon pad had a very quick reduction in pain of the tender points on these fibromyalgia patients maxed out at six weeks and at the end of the six month study they were back to where they started from and uh, no benefit whereas the magnetical pad had a steady decline in the pain uh, so that showed a significant amount of pain reduction by the end of the study now that was just with the weakest pad we make with just the five gauss model they recommended that we make them stronger so we make them twice as strong and four times as strong now with significantly better results. And so that's, that was the first study we did. If you have chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, arthritis, Parkinson's, MS, all of these things can be helped with the magnetic field. And you need to be getting on the magnetic pad to detoxify your body. Now there's one thing that we haven't talked about and it's very, very big. We have found that we can take a person with angina that's on nitroglycerin 24 hours a day because of the extent of the uh, plugged arteries in their heart, their coronary arteries, and we have found that we can clean those arteries out with a magnetic pad and DMSA. We have a 14 patient pilot study going now and it's been consistent through the whole work. So uh, we've actually done angioscopes before and after and found that 80% in one year, 80% of the plaque in the arteries has been cleaned out. So uh, if you want to live long without cardiovascular disease, you need to get on a magnetic pad. And if you are already in trouble, you need to be taking DMSA, especially if you've had a lot of fillings.